we're going to continue our story of the fire cat. Written and illustrated by Esther Avril. Chapter 2 The Fire Cat. Joe took Pickles to the chief who was sitting at his desk. Oh, said the chief. I know this young cat. He is the one who chases little cats. How do you know? asked Joe. The chief answered, A fire chief knows many things. Just then, the telephone began to ring. Hello, said the chief. Oh, hello, Mrs. Goodkind. Yes, Pickles is here. He came with Joe. What did you say? You think Pickles would like to live in our firehouse? Well, we shall see. Thank you, Mrs. Goodkind. Goodbye. The chief looked at Pickles and said, Mrs. Goodkind says you are not a bad cat, and Joe likes you. I will let you live here if you will learn to be a good firehouse cat. Pickles walked quietly up the stairs after Joe. Joe and Pickles went into a room where the firemen lived. The men were pleased to have a cat. They wanted to play with Pickles. But suddenly the fire bell rang. All the firemen ran to a big pole and down they went. The pole was the fast way to get to their trucks. Pickles could hear the truck start up and rush off to the fire. Pickles said to himself, I must learn to do what the firemen do. I must learn to slide down the pole. He jumped and put his paws around the pole. Down he fell with a bump. Bumps or no bumps, I must try again, said Pickles. Up the stairs he ran. Down the pole he came. And bumped. He tried again. And bumped. But by the time the fireman came back from the fire, Pickles could slide down the pole. What a wonderful cat you are, said the fireman. The chief did not say anything. Pickles said to himself, I must keep on learning everything I can. So he learned to jump on one of the big trucks. And he learned to sit up straight on the seat while the truck raced to a fire. What a wonderful cat you are, said the fireman. The chief did not say anything. Pickles said to himself, Now I must learn to help the firemen with their work. At the next fire, he jumped down from the truck. He ran to a big hose, put his paws around it, and tried to help a fireman shoot the water at the flames. What a wonderful cat you are! said the fireman. The chief did not say anything. The next day, the chief called all the firemen to his desk. Then he called for Pickles. Pickles did not know what was going to happen. He said to himself, Maybe the chief does not like the way I work. Maybe he wants to send me back to my old yard. But Pickles went to the chief. At the chief's desk stood all the firemen and Mrs. Goodkind.
the chief said to Pickles. I have asked Mrs. Goodkind to come because she was your first friend. Pickles, jump on my desk. I have something to say to you. Pickles jumped up on the desk and looked at the chief. Out of the desk, the chief took a little fire hat. Pickles, said the chief, I have watched you at your work. You have worked hard. The time has come for you to know that you are now our fire cat. And with these words, the chief put the little hat on Pickles' head.